the biggest download in the history of your show of all time and tell Corky's and everyone decided to get ready is when I'm right about Tatis. I got, I, got a radio sta- I got a radio station in that town that's got about 100 listeners, maybe 130 on a good day, trolling me every day. I, I, was the, I was the guy that broke the Soto story. Me. I had Soto from my source coming to the Padres. And I put in the tweet, and I'll give you the exact one, that Tatis will be on the move. Never said he was going to the Nationals. Of course, how would I say that? I didn't know he wasn't going. I knew for a fact the Padres were trying to trade him that day. I know for a fact the Padres were close with a couple of other teams. I'm here to tell you Tatis will not play for the Padres again. It'll be a miracle, especially with the suspension. And they're shopping him as we speak. And when that happens, I'm I'm buying a horse or renting one from Cap. I'm getting on a white horse. I'm taking it down the 805 and the 5. I'm going to go to that radio station. I'm going to put it out of business. I'm going to take it over and and I'm going to host for 24 hours. (laughs) <laughs> when that happens, you save this bit, and we're going to come back, and I'll leave you on that note because there's something brewing. JT the Brick, uh, gosh, I can't let you leave with that. Hold on. We're in the 7 Mile Casino studio, 7milecasino.com. I, I need to just jump in on that for one yes. second. Great friends, we're in the 7 Mile Casino studios here on Kaplan and Crew with Grande and the Brown Man. We are just saying goodbye to JT the Brick who's been on the air with us for 20 minutes talking about the Immaculate Reception, Franco Harris, Raiders versus Steelers, Raiders last week and this crazy loss to New England. We're having this whole conversation. And in the last minute, JT says, hold on. Before we go, I got to say something. JT, can you reset that? Because I know Browner's going to want to say something. Mm -hmm. Alex, I couldn't let you go without us responding. Go for it. I have a source in Washington, D.C., at a major, major, major global apparel company that told me before anybody that Soto was going to the Padres and the Padres were trying to move Tatis. So I tweeted it out that Soto's coming. I had it before anybody. John Heyman, Buster Olney, I had that. But I included in the tweet, which I probably shouldn't at the time, that Tatis would be gone. Never said he was going to the Nationals. Never said it was going to be a swap. But they were shopping Tatis. That is 100% true. I had that, and I'm telling you again, they've been shopping Tatis nonstop from that day to move him from the Padres. And especially with Bogart, with, with everybody they have now in the salaries, they can't afford all four of them. They can't. So they've always tried to move Tatis. Then we find out about the suspension, the rumors to the Yankees, the rumors to the other team. And I know he has a no-trade clause. And I'm telling you, like, when the Yankees got – uh, Giancarlo Stanton in Miami paid a chunk of it, and the Yankees didn't pay the full thing. The Padres have been shopping Tatis, period. There is a no-trade clause. The Padres would love to be out of the Tatis business. They're working hard from day one to do it because my source was right about Soto, and he's been right on top of Tatis the whole time. It's just been hard to move him because of the no-trade clause and the stupidity of that contract, overpaying them that much for a knucklehead who's been in trouble, cheated on the game with performance-enhancing drugs. So that's it. And when that story drops and when that bomb drops, I'm coming into that town, and you guys are buying me drinks at the track, and I'm going to (laughs) celebrate, and I am going to do a victory lap around the trolls in that city who think I'm out of my mind. We'll just leave it at that. Okay, I'm one of them. Mm -hmm. So tell me this. Give me you, I don't need the exact month. Give me a window because if this happens five years from now, obviously. Oh, that's no, 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 no. I okay. would, I would be Brownie. You're right. There's, I could be wrong on this. You mm-hmm. know, that's why Twitter was invented to be right and wrong. All right, <laughs> the See, I'm not, wrong I'm not, now. I'm not a baseball insider. I'm just telling you the source that I had was the source that I'm leaning on. Had Soto to me first, and Soto was done. When no one in San Diego heard a peep about Soto going, I dropped that bomb that he was going because the apparel company that deals with him had him in-house. It was done. They were printing the jerseys. They knew it was coming. So I was privy to that, and that same source said, they are close. They're trying to move Tatis. So what I should have said is, Soto's out, said nothing on Tatis, put out a separate tweet that said, Tatis will be on the move after this one because it confused some people that I was saying Soto straight up for Tatis. If it was, I would have said in the tweet, Soto straight up for Tatis. That wasn't the case. So all I'm telling you is, even if you love Tatis, he should be gone. They are trying to move him. They've been trying to move him nonstop. Anybody who doesn't understand that is an idiot. 
Anybody who doesn't think the Padres want to get out of the Tatis deal knows nothing about baseball. They don't want him. They don't want him since he's been in trouble. They don't want to rebuild his brand as a cheater with PEDs. They're dying to get out of the Tatis business. They just need a dance partner, and I think they have a few who are kicking the tires on the price and the no-trade clause. That's it. Talking to you, Bronner. I'm 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 the upper left corner. You're pointing directly. No, no, no. no. no I shouldn't be pointing. No, I'm talking, no, I'm talking to Scott. Scott. I'm just saying this is the way I see it, Bronner. Right now, well, I Bronner, see. Let you. me throw it back to you and Alex. <laughs> Give it to me. You hold on. Let me throw this back to you. You think Tatis is going to be a Padre for life? Yes. You I do? think. Okay. I think this we, is going okay. to be. A, I think this is going to be a situation where he was young, and they're going to use this as a teaching lesson, and he's going to rehabilitate his image, like all people who have fallen situations have. No one talks about the the legacy that Kobe Bryant had mm. after his falter in Colorado. Like there are a mm. lot of athletes who have done things and had the opportunity to rebuild their image with the team in which they had the mistake made. I think this is going to be no different. I think they're going to give him an opportunity to prove himself. Because again, if healthy, he's still the best player on that team. And you're mm. going to give that away because he's a problem? Yes. There are a lot of guys who are problems. Yes, they, not, they, not, not this type of problem. I think the Padres have now vetted him. They've seen him. They know his numbers were inflated probably too with the, with the performance enhancers like everybody else. But I think that's I, why they're going to let him come back because they need to see if that's true. I respect your opinion, man. I'm just telling you I think you're wrong. I, I know. Well, that's fair. I know you're wrong. <laughs> I, I, I know you're wrong. The reason I know you're wrong on this is because the source I had who told me about Soto first has been telling me that they've been shopping Tatis nonstop. Well, JT, so, you're not going to move him. This is the same guy that thinks that Tatis is still going to play shortstop somehow. Yep. Well, look, anything can happen. <laughs> if he stays again, I'm not going to die on this hill. I'm a Yankee fan. I'm a judge guy. I'll die for judge. Right? I'll do it yeah. for that. I won't do it for Tatis. All I'm just saying here is – you know, I put this out. I put this tweet out in the hate tweets that I got, literally like death threats. I respect that. I'm sitting yeah. there, I'm going, really? I Over a tweet that. about a potential trade? And uh, especially people that have no background in the business or have a tiny, tiny audience, less they're than one of my with, great They're podcasts. tweeting with their heart. They're tweeting yeah, with their heart, not with their is, mind. Which is okay. So, again, you know, I don't want this to blow up. Breaking news, it's the end of the world. You know, just save this. Put this in the little <laughs> Kaplan file. You know, Kaplan's got all these files of all the histories of great moments here with the podcast. And it, just put this one away for a little bit. And when mm-hmm. Tatis ends up somewhere else and Soto comes back and plays, you put the tweet back up again and go, wow. How about our guy, JT? Maybe he did know something. I don't think it's unreasonable. I mean, listen, when they were looking at Xander Bogarts, when they were looking at Trey Turner, I was thinking to myself, well, why are they looking at a shortstop? Maybe they do want to move Tatis because they can't possibly afford to have Manny and Soto and Tatis and Bogart. I mean, I just don't think it's that unreasonable. But what I love about the the, the notion of the story is, is that JT put it out. He gets a lot of hate from Padre fans. There is a radio show in town that he's saying that wants a piece of him. And now JT's going to come back for them when he... When he's proven right, I like that. I I like stirring the stuff. You see, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't like stirring the stuff. By the way, I don't. You know, I, that's one of the things about me. I could have had two million Twitter followers if I was a race baiter back in the day, or used COVID in politics, or one of these a holes that just went on Twitter every day. I just told you when I knew. I had Soto coming to the Padres. My guy said, "Hey, they're shopping. They're shopping Tatis hard." to get out of there. I think a lot of people, you guys know this, and Browner, especially you, just put Tatis Jr. into a Twitter search today. He got on a plane to go to the the Bronx. He's on a plane to go there. He's spotted here. I mean, there are people in San Diego that realize they're shopping him. I mean, there are people that are realizing that they'd like to move him. Now, you're someone who doesn't think that's the case, and I respect your opinion on this. So, again, the Padres are a small market team. They can't afford all of these players. The Yankees, the Cubs, the Red Sox, the Giants, and the Dodgers can. I think it's great. I couldn't believe when the Padres were in the market for Bryce Harper. And it made all sense because how great would that a contract been if you look at it now? So they're in the market for Bogarts, Bryce Harper. They have Tatis. They get all those pitchers. They got all these players that they're resigning. They got to move one of them. The only thing I would put, and they're going to try to move the guy who's the knucklehead that the fans and the fans in San Diego. This should be a good poll on your website. How many Padre fans want Tatis back? 
the numbers I just push back on the small down. market thing. I just push back on the small market thing. The rest of it, you, I, uh, it's okay. You know, everybody's got an opinion. I push back on the small market part. No, no, that's fair too. I mean, I love you know you guys know I love San Diego. I lived there for eight years. You're a smaller market compared to L.A., yeah, well, yes, of Chicago, course. Yes, and the Bronx with the Yankees. But again, if Tatis ends up staying there, he rehabilitates himself. He brings the Padres a World Series more power to him. I just have a guy who says they've been they've been they're shopping him constantly. They can't wait to get out of that deal, and they need a dance partner. And they've had a couple of close ones. I just think it's a matter of how much the Padres want to pay. Hmm. on that contract and what's left because the team that takes Tatis is not going to pay that full contract. Okay. The team that takes Tatis, of course, Tatis is going to have to agree to the no trade. And why wouldn't he agree to the no trade? Don't tell me he's like, I, you know, this is not a guy who grew up as a little kid saying I wanted to be a Padre for life. This is a guy. If you drop him in the nation's capital, you drop him with the Mets, you drop him with the Dodgers or anywhere else, he'd go in a minute. So he'd waive that no trade clause. The question is how much money, Will the Padres pay along with that contract? If the Dodgers or the Yankees or the Mets said, we'll take on $250 million of it, you pick up the other 50 or whatever the number it is, that's how I think this deal will happen. And if it doesn't happen, keep beating me up on the internet. <laughs>